As Brittany Boyer keeps an eye on Hurricane Aaron. Hey, Britt. Good morning, and we got an update from the National Hurricane Center at 5 o'clock this morning. Hurricane Aaron is a Category 2 hurricane about 550 miles west-southwest of the island of Bermuda. This is going to continue to work its way up and then curve its way out to sea along the east coast here. And although this isn't strengthening in terms of intensity, this is a growing hurricane. So its wind field is expanding, and that's why we're looking at a number of impacts, not just at the Jersey Shore and the Delaware beaches, but all the way down the coast into the Carolinas. Notice as we go through tomorrow, it makes its closest approach to our shoreline. So in terms of impacts, we do have that high risk for rip currents that continues through tomorrow evening. We are going to have the building seas today. Our wave heights are between six and nine feet. Tomorrow it's up to 12 feet. Our highest waves that we've seen since Isaias back in 2020. So it's been a while since we've had this kind of rough surf. A wind advisory has already been posted for the shore tomorrow up to 50 mile per hour gusts. And then we do have a moderate threat for coastal flooding tomorrow evening's high tide around seven, eight o'clock tomorrow evening. 